Okay class, today we're in section 10.5 extension. 10.5 extension. Analyze data distribution. Analyze data distribution. Your goal, choose an appropriate display, measure of central tendency, and measure spread based on the shape of data distribution. When you are presenting a set of data, you should consider the distribution of the data before deciding what type of measure of central tendency and graph to use for the data. Data that are closely grouped. Use a histogram to display the data. Use the mean as a measure of central tendency. Use standard deviation as a measure of the spread. Data values that are spread out. Use a Boston whisker plot to display the data. Use the median as a measure of central tendency. Use the interquartile range as a measure of the spread. Example 1. Choose a display for data. A used car dealer has 21 cars for sale at the prices shown in the table. Choose an appropriate display, measure of central tendency, and measure of the spread for this data set. Okay, first take a little close look at the data set, and you should notice the following solution. The data are close together with no outliers. Use a histogram. The center of the data can be represented by the mean, which is 9,345. The spread can be represented by the standard deviation, which is about 3,946. Okay, analyze your graph, and notice here is the number of cars, and here is the prices in thousands. So 0 to 2 means from $0 to $2,000. Here, 2000 to 4000 Example 2. Choose a display for data. Another used car dealer has 24 cars for sale at the prices shown in the table. Choose an appropriate display, measure of central tendency, and measure of spread for the data set. Okay, once again, look at the data very carefully, and then let's read the solution. The data value 38,775 appears to be an outlier. Use a Bosco and Whisker plot to display the data. The outlier will affect the mean and standard deviation, so they do not represent the data well. The median is 11,975. The interquartile range is 5,537.50. 